Hey, what's going on? I uh, haven't made a video in a while, but my buddy Shelby Elias, he uh, runs a very successful mortgage company called United Wholesale Lending. He was like, David, when are we gonna get more of those how to do life videos? It's really funny, that's what he called them, how to do life videos. So, shout out to Shelby, He's, that was very funny. And I thought I better make another one. And I wanted to talk today about what was running through my head as I'm driving to the gym. And it has to do with when you get into what I call a mental loop where you start thinking the same thought or feeling the same emotion over and over and over. And usually it's not a positive thing unless you're like a complete narcissist and maybe it feels that way. But usually it's something you don't want in your head and you can't get it out. Feeling like you're not good enough, feeling like you'll never get ahead, feeling like you have to run away from something hard or whatever it may be. And I was listening to a pastor called Stephen Furtick and he was talking about the very same thing. And what he said was that we get into these mental loops because we're focused on us. It's all me, right? Me, me, me. And all that's inside of you is all you know. And if you had the answer to get out of your loop, you would already be out of it. The reason that you're in that loop is because you don't know what to do to get out of it. You just know how to think your way. And all of our thoughts are an accumulation of what we've been through in life, decisions that we've made, things that other people did to us, and most importantly, how we interpreted what ended up happening, right? Like. There's a way to look at life where you had a really hard life and you're like, I'm so lucky that I had these people that pushed me to turn me into a Navy SEAL. Or you could say, why was life so hard to me when it's easy for those people? Very same thing happens, but two people interpret it differently. If you're in the wrong mental state, that's okay, but you can't get out of it on your own. You're never gonna get out of it thinking with your line of thinking. And the only thing you can do is humble yourself and go talk to somebody else and ask them, how do you think, how do you feel? How do you solve these kinds of problems? How do you interpret this? And be open to a different way of thinking. If you can't be open to a new way of thinking, you can never improve yourself. Because the reality is if you had the answers that you needed, you wouldn't be in the position that you're in that's causing you the pain in the first place. So that's just something to think about today. When you feel stuck in the same position at work or you're in the same place in your relationship or you're at the same point in life that you're just not satisfied and you wanna to get to a better one, you don't have the answers inside you, okay? If they were inside you, you wouldn't be stuck there. You would have already got past it. The answers are gonna be somewhere else. And if you're prideful, it's so hard for new information to get in your head because you think you already know everything. So start with humility and then move on to not just thinking about you all the time. Think about other people, think about how you can help other people and think about how other people handle the situation. And usually you'll pick up a new skill that will help you overcome it. Hope that helps.